Because of his demanding schedule, the interview had to be abruptly concluded. The prince was due in Tinicum, Pennsylvania. At three o'clock, Prince Bertel and his party arrived at Governor Prince Park in Tinicum Township, Pennsylvania. The park is all that remains of Fort New Gothenburg, the seat of government from 1643 to 1653 for the new Sweden colony. It is also the site of the first place of worship and the first school in Pennsylvania. It was on this same spot 25 years ago that Prince Bertel officiated when the Swedish Colonial Society presented the site to Pennsylvania. Today, he will see Prince Park dedicated as a national historic site. The prince and his party were surprised to be greeted in Swedish by Dr. Esther Meixner. Hello, colony and Nia Sverige. Och här är de män och kvinnor från 1600-talets svenska rike en verklig pionär i sats. Prince Bertel spoke of the long and warm Swedish-American friendship. Mr. Chairman, Your Excellency, ladies and gentlemen, uh, in uh, thoughtful gratitude, I would like to stress the inspiring aspects of the historic traditions we honor today. While they are more than three centuries old, they are still to the fullest, fullest extent shared by two nations. For you, on this side of the Atlantic, they represent in the first place some of the original foundations of the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania. For us in Sweden, they, they imply an early contribution to your civilization. For both, you and us, they mean the beginning of direct relations over the ocean and of an unbroken friendship. As is customary on ceremonial occasions, the departing dignitary must give his autograph. To these people, Prince Bertel is indeed Sweden's Prince Charming. Sunday, March 31st, the last day of Prince Bertel's visit in the United States. The Prince and his party attend services at Gloria Dei, or Old Swedes Church at Delaware Avenue and Christian Streets in Philadelphia. Gloria Dei is the oldest church in Pennsylvania. Royalty and commoner alike join in worship. The final public appearance for Prince Bertel will be a reception held in his honor at the American Swedish Historical Museum. On this occasion, Prince Bertel will be surrounded by Americans of Swedish extraction. The museum located at 1900 Patterson Avenue in Philadelphia houses the largest collection of Swedish American memorabilia in the country. An exhibit that especially interested the Prince was a model of the Tyro satellite, a Philadelphia area product. His Royal Highness, Prince Bertel of Sweden. Prince Bertel's speech concluded the program at the museum and his visit. As is not customary on ceremonial occasions, the well-worn but still gracious visiting dignitary made these comments about the photographers and cameramen who had dogged his every step for the past four days. Well, there you are. You see, these very nice photographer, uh, photographers and uh, cameramen, they, they may, may make you do practically everything. They make you put the hand out, stand on your head, I don't know what not. 
but they're very nice and I have nothing against them. <laughs> and may I take back from you all, which I, I will see, uh, I will namely see my father on Tuesday for lunch. And may I then take back from you all your best greetings and wishes to him. May I do that? Thank you. Because I know that he will be very happy and very touched indeed. And he has followed this trip with the utmost of interest in the papers, and he's also had the program which I gave him before I left. So he knows exactly at what time and what date and what day, wherever I am. So he can't lose me that by, by that. <laughs> That's always something, anyway. But uh, may I be serious for one moment? and just say that he would be very happy and I would be very glad to do that. And may I now thank you for all your kindness again. I don't know how many times I've said it, but I can't say it often enough and too many times. Thank you for all your kindness and I will lo I'll be longing to come back here again to Philadelphia, to the Historical Museum, to the United States of America.